everyone, this is Jules Mitchell, and I'm here with Don Del Vecchio, a great friend of mine. I would like to introduce her. We're going to have a little talk today about this great new product she's got, Marketing with Heart. Don Del Vecchio is a writer, a speaker, and an online entrepreneur. After decades in the field of writing and personal development, Don has had the opportunity to work with one of the most successful online marketing companies of wellness and personal growth programs. Recognizing the need to bridge the gap between master healers and teachers and, and the new world of online marketing, <laughs> Don created a program called Marketing with Heart. This video course was created specifically for healers, teachers, coaches, and artists like you who want to share their gifts with a greater audience, um, but they need the help with basics of building an online presence. Welcome, Don. Thanks, Jules, and thanks for having me. And I do want to say, too, that particularly for talking with your community, that this program is also designed, as you say, teachers for yoga teachers and yoga entrepreneurs, because I know it's not just yoga studio owners anymore, but there's uh, teachers like yourself who travel around, and there's also people who have incredible yoga yoga wear, yoga products. So all of us, we're really seeking to connect with a bigger audience beyond our little geographic community. And that's, okay. um, so this can really serve uh, folks who are in these industries. One of the really great things about becoming a new yoga teacher today is that you aren't limited to the old model of brick and mortar building teaching classroom, teaching in a class. You can teach online classes, you can offer services and products online. And actually it's been, Sometimes people think, oh, there's the explosion in the yoga world. It's so tough out there. Well, it's actually made it easier because now we have more options. But again, if you don't know how to manage these options, then you get a little lost, and that's where you come in. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, and this is true. I mean, my, my initial motivation for creating the program was because I knew a lot of um, energy healers and spiritual teachers who were in the same kind of dilemma. They were still trying to use old marketing models of, competing with their local, whoever, that, like if you were a Reiki healer, competing with the other Reiki teachers for a tiny geographic uh, market. When I was busy working for a company that was reaching worldwide, and you know because you also teach people around the country and around the world, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so it's been very exciting to see how this is beginning to help people change the picture in their mind and actually change their reality, change how they go about doing their business, and also their income, of course. Yeah, That's absolutely. a part of it. Well, tell us a little bit then about how this came about. How did you come up with doing the, putting this yeah. program together? Yeah, you know, it wasn't what I had in mind at all. Um, I've been on my own spiritual journey for about 28 years. In fact, since my son was born, uh, he was just turned 28 uh, two days ago. So, um, and I started with a women's spiritual group, and I got into uh, Wicca and meditation and eventually yoga, tarot, astrology. So this has just been my life path. And, um, and then I, my second career was as a travel writer in Asia. So I lived in, in Southeast Asia. I traveled all around, had a really incredible life uh, there, eventually moved back here. And some serendipitous things happened, and I came across this company called Mind Valley, And uh, they are... Kind of like, you know, the way Hay House does, publishes books on spirituality and wellness and upliftment and all that stuff. Well, Mind Valley does the sort of digital equivalent. So people are de uh, providing home study courses, video programs, this kind of thing, in the realms of meditation, healing, energy healing, wellness, personal growth. And so I found out about them, and as a writer already, I was reading their, their um, um, main blog called Finer Minds, and I was just like, wow, I want to work with these people. So I went there. I, I applied for the job that day, the day that I, I discovered this place, got the job. I knew I would get the job. But I was about 25 years older than almost everyone working there. <laughs> so, you know, so I was working with kids who were very Internet savvy. They were like born into the Internet, you know, 22, 23, 24, 25 year olds. Some of them as old as, as old as 30. <laughs> so... You know, so I got there, I got hired as a writer, and I got there, and I, um, 
immediately was like over my head. I was like, what are these kids talking about? Oh my God, I have no idea what they're doing, uh, what they're talking about. But I was like, well, I'm here now, so I better put my big girl panties on and you know, <laughs> I'm going to learn this by golly. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I, I learned marketing models online. I, I, I totally, you know, it like it, it ripped open my mind and, and I learned all these things and I, I saw new models for doing things and I I was able to um, really change my life because all of a sudden I went from writing travel, writing articles and doing my own blog sort of but not having anyone really find it or anything to reaching something like, I'm looking here at my numbers, almost 531,000 people every single day with the Finer Minds blog. Wow. So I was all of a sudden able to inspire, inform and uplift people with my writing and my thoughts and the stuff I was researching. At a, in a really powerful way, and that in itself was incredibly rewarding. So I did that for a while, took over authorship of The Healer's Way, which is a healing, energy healing, and alternative healing uh, blog website. Um, it's also a platform for me to introduce healers to my community. And eventually I moved back here to the United States, and when I moved back, the first thing that hit me as I started connecting with other healers and teachers is they were doing that same struggle. They're like, they've got some brilliant, brilliant service, teaching, book, um, healing modality, and they're trying to reach a teeny tiny community that's geographic in nature. Here I was working for a company that was, was promoting authors and healers and teachers worldwide and having tremendous reach and then I come back and I see these people who are like struggling just to make ends meet or even just to get the word out of what they're doing. And uh, I was like, well, you know what? I really wanted to write my book on spiritual, you know, spiritual keys to success. And I think I have to do this first. Mm -hmm. So that's how it came about. Great. That's, yeah. What a good story. And thank you for sharing your, your knowledge with yeah. all of us. Um, this is actually something I see all the time with in the teacher trainings that I lead is the new teachers just not even knowing where to begin with their business. Right. So I really I really hope that they, they are watching this and get to learn some great tips from you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the program so yeah. that you know that when the listeners can say, okay, what exactly are what are we speaking about here? Right. What does online marketing mean? <laughs> right. Good question. Good, good, good. So first of all, I want to say this really is a, a very beginner program. When people are going, I don't know where to begin, or they're looking at, well, things like, well, I guess I'll put an ad in the yellow pages. <laughs> what a waste of money. <laughs> I mean, maybe you want to, you know, if you have a, if you're in a big city and you know you can draw a lot of people, maybe that is the right thing, but, or, or part of a marketing strategy. But basically what this is, it's a 20 module video program. So, uh, you, you have access either by watching the videos online or by downloading them and then you can watch them anytime you want. So it's 20 modules. Uh, the total, the program altogether is about between eight and a half, it's about eight and a half hours. And That's all you do bad. is, what's that? That's not bad. That's a business day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And what I encourage people to do, because I realize that people have a lot to do in a day, is just lean into it. Give yourself, say, all right, I'm going to do 30 minutes a day or an hour a day or whatever it is. And all you do is you watch the video, you pause when you need to, when I'm showing you do this, this, and this, and then you, you go and do this, that, and this. Um, so it's extremely simple. It's like I, I really wanted to make it to help people as if I was their own coach. Because here's the thing, Jules. I am, I'm almost 47. I was not born into the Internet. I was not technologically savvy. When the Internet first came about, to me, just getting my emails was enough. So I've been there. I don't actually have the, I, I call it geek speak. I don't even have much technical geek speaking. When I do learn something like, and I can start throwing around words like HTML, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm really cool. No, <laughs> but I don't use I'm that. <laughs> but I don't yeah. use that in the program because that's so stressful. And I know because I've been there. I've been in those shoes where some, you know, when I worked uh, at this company and the IT guy will, would go, well, you just go blah, 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 and this and that and this. And I'm going, what? <laughs> 
would you say that in English, please? So everything's in plain English. And even when I do say certain things, like I'll use acronyms or something, I tell people what it is. So you will learn how to build what I call your tribe building triangle. And that, that is the basic, it's the most essential ingredients everyone needs to have a business presence online. And it is the foundation from which you can launch, um, you know, selling things online if you want, or what I call building your tribe, creating a presence, having, act, having uh, a presence for people to access to find out more about you. So, uh, the, yeah, so does that, does that answer yeah, the basics? Yeah. So to be clear, it's step-by-step -step instructions where they're watching you work on your screen. Yes. So they watch you point and click, and they can follow right along and pause so that they'll see what you see, or they'll, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actual step-by-step -step instructions. Exactly, Perfect. exactly. It makes it, and, uh, you know, for me, I've never responded well to manuals. That's why it was so hard, and that's why I think, too, working with that company and the company in Malaysia, I actually had, even though they, they were they were kids, some of them were really like, okay, Mom, we'll show you how to do it. And I had that guidance where they would show me step by step. We'd have our laptops next to each other. So, yeah, so to be able, I know that to be able to watch someone actually do it on their screen and then copy exactly is the, it's the easiest way to learn. Perfect. So, yeah, so that's so what it is. So learn to build a website. Yeah, so there's three major components to the Try Building Triangle. The first is what's called SEO, which is search engine optimization. And that's basically setting up your keyword list to position yourself to be found online. Because as you know, if you just Google search yoga, what are the chances of, you know, you or anyone else coming up at the top of the list? Like jo Yoga Journal probably comes up. I don't know what, I've never done that. But, but there's a, a fabulous, totally free uh, tool online. It's a keyword tool search that helps you build out a list that will help you to niche yourself and position yourself in numerous niches so that you can come to the top of searches for certain keywords. And so that's the, and it's, this is very important stuff and it's not really hard. It's actually pretty fun, but you have to know how to do it. And so that's the first series of videos are all about that. The first like three and then, well, the, the second, third and fourth, the first one's an in, the first video is introduction. So, that, so positioning yourself with keywords is number one. Then how to build a clean and simple website using WordPress. And that could be a blog site and or a website. And along with all the little details of plugins and all the things you need to make that work, you also get lots of blogging strategies to, again, reinforce that SEO component to position yourself. And then the third component is social media, and that's really where the tribe building happens. That's where you connect with other people, you expand your reach, and you begin to, to show who you are and share the truth of who you are and allow people to find out uh, whether they resonate with you or not. And this is really important for today's marketing world because people no longer need to settle for... Yep. mediocrity they want to know do I resonate with this person does this person speak to me what you know how what what what's their story all of that you can now do very easily online and so that's what the tribe building triangle is SEO um, uh, website and social media perfect yeah that's great. sounds fantastic <laughs> well thanks and so you know just a little bit Talk a little bit about why this concept is so important in, in light of the changing. We've already addressed it a little bit, um, but I know you have some highlights that you'd like to talk about and how this works, especially for uh, ethical businesses like ours, mindful living businesses. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a great way of putting it to mindful living businesses. Okay. So, yeah. So the marketing element. Marketing, the word marketing is a bit like a four-letter word for those of us who've been in ethical exactly. business. Um, yep. Because our models for what marketing are, are um, based on the old system of how things work. So, like, uh, one of the main ones is interruptive marketing. You know, you're watching TV, commercials interrupt you. It may be something like McDonald's, which you know you're not even interested in, but it's, there it is in front of you. Billboards are also... Um, interruptive marketing, and then there, and then when in the old model, people are trying to get the most 
they're trying to reach the most people possible. So there's a, a sort of mediocrity or genericness a lot of times to things. They don't want to niche down into a very specific service or product because they're trying to, they're spending all this money on advertising, whether it's uh, billboards or TV commercials or radio commercials or yellow pages and all the yellow pages competition these days. So they need to get the most uh, money out, out, out of their investment in advertising. So they're trying to reach a lot of people, making some generic promises, interruption, false promises, sometimes this kind of thing. But with the Internet, uh, everything is totally different. And all you need to do to kind of get your head around what this is, is think about how do you look for things online. Right, and this is we use the example of yoga. Like, let's say you're in, um, let's say you're in Los Angeles, and you're visiting, and you want to go to a yoga studio, and you do a specific kind of yoga. You're gonna look up on your computer or on your smartphone when you're before you go there, the name of that kind of yoga, in Los Angeles, and then you're gonna see who the who's available there, and then you might read about some of them and see who do I resonate with the most. So all of a sudden, all the yoga teachers in Los Angeles, they're going to do what's the best thing they can do to, to be available for potential students is to really show who they are. This is what I teach. These are my values. This is how I teach. These are the things you can expect from my class. No longer is it about false promises or my yoga class is the best for everybody and it's going to work for you, you know, it, you have to be real because people are going to read phony baloney and go, ah, I don't want her, you know, or him. I'm going to go to, I'm going to see who else is out there. So that's, uh, that's the main thing is that it's changed. And also social media is another way that we do this. And I know you're also on Facebook. That's my main social media. And I have, um, my, my main community is called the healer's way. I have a website and this is kind of where all this emerged for me. And I've got a community of almost 8,000 people that I connect with. So I'm really out there on a regular basis uh, encouraging everyone to share our wisdom and guidance and knowledge of alternative healing. Like I'm an herbalist, so that's one of the things that I share. And that presence shows people who I really am. And then through that, when they're looking for, when they're saying, you know, Dawn, I'm moving to Florida. Do you know any good yoga teachers? They're going to come to me, right? Because they trust me. You. Yeah, you're, so. you're a valued authority to them. Right. Exactly, exactly. So so there is, a, it's almost like you really can't be fake anymore. And because people can search, they can niche down so specifically to what they want anymore. That yeah, you look in the example is that even Los Angeles is too great. You know, now it's like all these smaller, even smaller cities. You can actually look for people in your area within the twenty block radius practically and really right. find who speaks to you in that area even. Right, right. And that's that SEO component is putting yeah. in like if you're in Van Nuys, you've got to put, you know, Van Nuys and maybe even the sub neighborhood of that and you can use all these keywords and you put them in the back of the website, which I teach people how to do so that that's what comes up when people yeah. search so that's brilliant yeah brilliant. and it, it's Love it's it. it's <laughs> just not that hard but until you have the opportunity to actually learn from someone it it, it, it seems like this monstrous thing that you you can't get your head around so do you think that is why people some people aren't using the internet as their as a model for their business just for that reason are there other reasons because yeah. if you make it sound like this is great why would anybody not do this yeah there's a, there's a few reasons why they don't and the first one is just lack of knowledge you know until you really start until you've either had an opportunity to learn like I did I didn't even know when I went there I didn't even know when I went to work with Mind Valley that I would learn this stuff I just thought I want to be an inspired blogger you know that that's that's all but so and if you haven't had any exposure to it you can't even kind of get your head around it cuz there's no template there's no precedent set to know this stuff so that's the first thing and then um also there's a lot of stress and confusion because it is complicated until you have someone walk you through it step by step, how are you going to know where to begin? For a new person, the, the complexity of getting a Facebook pa fan page is the almost the equivalent of writing HTML code. It's true. 
true. Yeah, and so people go, so now in today, people are really starting to get, in our industries, people are really starting to get, gosh, you know, I need a web presence. So what they'll say is, ah, but it's so complicated, you know, I'm going to save up some money and I'm going to hire someone. That's another, another reason why people don't do it. And then what they find is that either they don't have the money to hire someone because it's quite expensive to get, your, to get your presence online, or they have someone, I've got a few friends, who have uh, asked a friend to help them out. So someone who's got the skills, right? So they put up some kind of complicated website, and then the person can't handle, they don't know how to deal with it. Oh, I want to make a change to my website. Oh, I, I, my friend is too busy. I can't do it. So then they're stuck in this position of dependence and vulnerability. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to begin. They've got something up there, but they can't make any changes to it. And they come to this kind of screaming halt. And then nothing moves forward. So that's another, uh, sort of another problem. For I'm going to interrupt here because you're describing me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. When I first decided I needed a website, this is exactly what happened. I had to hire somebody. I had no idea where to go or what to do. I hired somebody. I paid a lot of money in the thousands mm -hmm. for a really attractive website because I wanted it to be clean and look good. Yeah. And then exactly that, this is exactly what happened. I dyed my hair. And now I was a blonde, and I couldn't change my website because I didn't know how. Yeah. And if I wanted to send them pictures to update, it was like, you know, $80 per picture or something. Oh. And I had no control over my own web presence. Yeah. And uh, then, interestingly, I, I met Don about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago now. And since I've met Don in this time, I've actually started an event, and I started that website from scratch, from the very beginning. And it's now over 50, 60 pages deep. I've built every awesome. single page. The, every single every single thing about that site, I have put there personally. When I want to make a change, I go in on the back end. I change it. I know where to find it. I know how to change it because I've done all of this myself. And actually, just about a month ago, I actually took the website over, my own personal website, so a different website, Great. over from the web designer and said, you know what, I'm done with you. Can you package all up for me and send it over so that I can do it from scratch and manage it on myself because I, I didn't want to give them the money anymore. Yeah. So, you know, Don was explaining me a year ago, and now today I'm managing several sites all on my own. It takes just a couple minutes. I'm not threatened by it. Now everybody's coming to me asking me, how do I do this? And I say, here's Don. Yeah, <laughs> great, hey, great. Don. <laughs> it's it's the really the story of so many people. So congratulations, uh, first of all, on doing that. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, and and also keep in mind uh, keep in mind too that a lot of people. Another reason people are they're they're struggling is because okay, I've got the choice of spending a lot of money on someone else or spending a lot of money on my own and having the headache. But you know now with WordPress, it's really inexpensive. I mean, I yeah. spend. I calculated it yesterday. I think 140 bucks for web hosting a year, and then 12 dollars for my my name, my domain name. So it's incredibly cheap. And here's the other thing too. It's okay. Like I'm at the point now, and I do just like you. I, I do a, I handle a number of websites. I do a lot of stuff myself. I'm at the point now where I want to hire an assistant. Not full time, but but here's the thing: I can hire an assistant now, and say, "Look, I just don't. I want to create other things, and I have other things that I can. My best gifts can go to, and my best time. Um, but because I know what I'm doing, I'm no longer vulnerable and disempowered. So I can say, "Hey, I, w I would like you to handle X, Y, and Z, and I don't have to worry about." It him or her coming back and saying, all right, that'll be $600, please. What? <laughs> you know, because you know what, you know what needs to be done. And, and that makes a whole different reality, doesn't it? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, so how would somebody get their hands on this product? Yes. Um, how well, how can we help people do what we're saying we've successfully done? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, if you're watching this video on the page, on the Marketing with Heart page, all you have to do is click on that button right down there. Oh, That's click down, below. <laughs> click down below that says Your Yoga Biz. Your that will, Yoga Biz. Your right Yoga Biz. And that will take you to a, 
a sales page or a page that tells you lots of stuff ab about it, but also you can click the button at the bottom for the, uh, the shopping cart. So scroll through. Some of the stuff will be redundant because you've listened to this video. And then there's a, about halfway down the page, you'll see there's a little description of each of the modules so you can get an idea of more specifically what you're going to learn. And then there's a box there that says uh, the normal price of the program is $129, but for all of Jules' friends, I'm offering the price of $97. Oh, that's a steal. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you know what it really is, but this is yeah. the other, hey, this is the other thing I wanted to add to what the benefit of, of putting yourself online is that you can create products and programs to sell automatically, and then you don't have to charge so much. Like if you had a home study yoga program, you don't have to charge so much, and more people can get access to your gifts and services, to your what it is that you're meant to do in this world. So and that's part of why I can... In our, in our community, who's um, yours and my community, that uh -huh. is, is just that. She teaches yoga at home and records it and has, has the ability to teach more than just what's in her little geographic location. Exactly. So she can get away with charging a little bit less. She's great. Yeah. And reach more people. So it becomes accessible. Yeah. It's really, there's so many, it just, it's like the whole internet world turned business on its head mm -hmm. and for the, for the better, especially for folks yeah. like us. Yeah. So let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about the program. So it's 20 video modules, $97. With that, there's some bonuses you'll get. Um, you just click on the button at the bottom of that page to buy it. You okay. do have email access to me, so if something comes up that's confusing, you can, or if there's some prop, any kind of problem, you can let me know. But it's it's quite straight, quite straightforward actually. Okay. So. I think that's actually a really good thing to know that that you're actually behind all of this. Mm -hmm. That that there's a person at the end of it. So if they do get stuck and they do get lost. That there's like there's somebody that they can reach. It's not just some yeah know, empty void. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's that's good to know that to be relate to the person that created this product that's going to be able to help. Yes, exactly. And in fact, it. in fact, when someone purchases, they'll get the email from me within that day with a link to the program, to all the modules, and okay. a few directions. And at the bottom, it will have my email address Perfect. and well and it's from me anyway so you know so right away you you have access is there any, are there any other questions you want to ask me Joel do you feel we've explained um, you know I don't think so I mean I think that's pretty much it just what um, you know why this is so great for a, you know particularly my audience is why I wanted to share this with the audience is that I am constantly around brand new yoga teachers and I think that sometimes in addition to learning about yoga and the the vastness of it and then they also have to take on marketing and yeah. I think if you have somebody to help you and guide you it's actually great I mean I do all my own marketing I work for a company who also does all their own marketing and um, and it's actually empowering and it's something yeah. that I really encourage um, I encourage you guys to take on because I think it will give you freedom in your business in in a way that you might not expect that makes sense. Yes, absolutely. The time spent now, and, and this is the thing, sometimes people will say to me, well, I don't really want to spend the time to figure that stuff out. You know, I'm a, I'm a Reiki healer, or I'm a, you know, a teacher, or whatever, and I say, well, if you have a business, don't you have to spend some time on the business of your business? You do, and this is yeah. part of that anymore, but, but the investment that people spend now, and certainly you and I both can speak to this from our experience, is paying off in spades. Not just financially, although that's certainly as well, but also in terms of time. Because once you get it down, then you can either outsource it and not feel like you're getting ripped off, or it goes quickly. So you just boom, 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 boom. Now I did that. Now I'm back to, you know, creating, you know, whatever it is that I do, teaching, traveling, etc. It's just yeah. the setup that is the initial the initial investment. But after that, once you're you're so busy with clients and, and, and selling your product and service. After that, it's just maintenance. You just have to keep yeah. up on it, and, and that's not hard at all. That's really easy to do because you understand it. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for, for doing this with me, yeah. and uh, I'm excited to meet some of your students and new yeah. yoga teachers and help them to really rock this world because we need lots of high-quality yoga teachers out there so people of all ages and abilities can take care of their bodies. 
So, yeah. All right, Jules, thanks so much. All right, bye. Bye.